What's going on guys and welcome to Industries of Titan, a cool sci-fi city builder slash strategic and slash simulation game where you get to build your own city welcome then go Titan inside Mountain. said buildings this to actually make them function to your liking via, you know, because of your supply and demand. And then inside these buildings, you can put down power generators, you can put down your supply chains, you can put down processes to manufacture more advanced materials. But then you've also got to defend your city from rebels and ships that are going to be coming in and trying to demolish these. And yes, you can prioritize and put the uh, turrets down and all this kind of good stuff. And then even bunker said buildings to make sure they are defendable against your enemies so the video you're about to see today is non-edited it's straight cut from the live stream and it's just raw gameplay that you're about to see so brace yourself games thank you so much for sponsoring the stream yesterday i had a lot of fun with it and hopefully if you guys enjoy this video check the link in the description for 25 percent off here on titan I don't know if my camera's going to be covering up any UI right now. We'll see. No, you mean... I'm not, uh, you're on about the games, right? No, it's uh, it's like a, a first-person shooter kind of destruction game. Thing. Founder, the council is glad to see you. We have significant investments riding on your success. I hope you'll live up Oh, thanks, Dragon. I didn't know I, I realised I was in there. All right. Show me the ways, wise one. Yeah, this looks very familiar to what I was playing before. Pick your starting bonus. Human resources, performance bonus, resourceful research. So migrant ships grant you influence. Bonus of 25, uh, 20 percent 20 of the day's earnings if your citizen health is above 85% by the end of the day. Penalty of 50% of the day's earnings if citizen health is below 80. Oh, that's... 85 is a pretty high number. Scrapping tech issues research efficiency by 25%. Scrapping tech takes the same time as recent. I can't score with the humans. Welcome, founder. My name is Shiaro Hess, and I am your corporate. Oh, I am monitor. blocking. I am. Let me Every move. Founder on Titan is assigned a monitor like me. I make sure you treat Titan make with respect. It is the council's property. Tear down. That's it. After Thank all. you. If we work together, we'll make this city very efficient. Okay. Rebel threat level 4%. Let's begin by testing your oversight capabilities, Founder. First, try to move your surveillance camera around your land. I like the UI, to Excellent be honest. Work. It's clean. Now, let's test your camera's rotation and zoom function. Working as expected. One last thing to ensure everything is running correctly. Try pausing and resuming and check that your speed register is working properly. Hello. Toggle your territory overlay. Excellent. Everything seems to be in order. Manager of civilization. No, no. Duties. Founder, it's please not turn -based. take a look at your starting territory. The outline tiles adjacent to your headquarters belong to you. You are free to do as you please with this land. We can destroy these these ruins here. Belongs to the council. If you wish to use that land, you will have to pay the council with influence. Of course, we we'll always have to pay the council. Turn off your territories overlay via the overlay icons on the bottom left on your bar. Uh, the territory. We've got these energy grid, shore pollution, transportation networks, uh, population and work. Livable, available, workspace available. Okay. Interesting. Okay. And then we can hide all overlays by just doing that. Turn on your territory overlay. There you go. I know 2025 in a way. So the visuals kind of remind me of Command and Conquer, right? It kind of remind me of Command and Conquer. Because um, it, it reminds me of Tiberium, right? Reminds me of Tar Tiberium stuff. Uh, serving in the rooms. Founder. I see you eyeing those ruins. You see what I mean? So you go inside the, the buildings and you can build stuff inside the buildings the to produce better earlier, objects like fuel, foolish, habitat niche. pods, monetization stations, all this stuff. The doomed settlers who built them left many resources and artifacts behind. 
Your territory already contains some ruined structures. You can survey them in your city view. Survey results will show you the contents of the ruins. Issuing a survey order will assign an employee to do it for you. So that ruins in second territory. So ruins you control. Okay. Right. How do I get out of this? How do I get out of this? Not escape. How do I get out of this goddamn building? How do I get out of this building? I want to dismantle it. Top center. Oh, I just clicked the thing. Okay. I'm confused myself then. <clears throat> um, have you played this, Mikhail? Have you played this? I'm guessing you have, right? Select the ruins inside your territory. So we can select one of these. All right? And survey the ruins. So we've got level ones, level twos. Um, I'm guessing these are... Um, I'm guessing maybe level three somewhere, possibly. Uh, but let's scan inside the territory, which is the blue area. And then we can scan, right? Survey it. That'll take some time. And we can prioritize it depending on workers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, select the resource. Claimed it. Attention, we are being followed. Can Shall survey. I dispatch the welcoming drones? Okay. So now we see our little workers going at it. And seeing what good materials and stuff. Uh, Balp89, appreciate the follow welcoming. So we can see we get some items from this. Minerals, isotopes, and we get waste as well. And we can salvage it. It'll take 15 seconds. Stop bringing that down. Let's start getting our items up here. So we can see our minerals, isotopes, waste, and then artifacts. Artifacts are an ancient device harvested from ruins. Artifacts are used to convert citizens into employees. Activate, insert ruins, and research tech web nodes. Okay. So we can see local storage. It's giving us a bit of like a, a graph here of what's hit, what's in more of. Kind of like that. See, thing 30% pollution, not an empty space ready for construction. So we've got these empty spots. Founder, survey results have shown that some nearby ruins contain valuable resources. Oh, we kind of jumped ahead there. Resources seems. are used to construct <laughs> buildings and devices. You can scan and harvest outside your control as long as uh, they are Try in the white territory. The ruins to gather its resources now. Do you mean the yellow? The resources you find there will be placed in storage you mean by the yellow your employees, one? if there is storage available. If we have storage. Alright. Founder, you may be interested to learn that there are other secrets hidden inside the nearby ruins. They can contain artifacts, rare and valuable technology from before Titan's fall. When you select a ruin, you can choose to extract artifacts mm -hmm. instead of salvaging it. But keep in mind, not all ruins contain Can't see the artifacts. info panel. You must survey them first to make sure. Artifacts are very rare, so use them wisely. Mm. If you have many artifacts, you can always donate them to the council. It will earn you quite a bit of influence. I guess we'll go in here. I guess we'll go in here. We are being followed. Shall yep. I dispatch the welcoming drones? Bouncing around the screen. Hell yeah. Uh, meet your waist. Okay. So we extracted oh, the artifacts. Hey there. Founder. Right. What the hell? They told me you'd be checking in soon. I'm Vern Skoll. Vern waste Skoll. Waste management officer. I think that title is pretty hmm, reductive, but yeah, I'm the one who moves the waste around. You make the trash, I move the trash. You <laughs> dump the trash, I, I burn, burn the, the trash. trash. It's a beautiful partnership. I bet he says Boy, that to everyone, right? You do have a lot of trash piling up around your city, don't you? No worries yet, though. We'll handle it later. Okay. Cool. So the rebel threat's kind of increasing. I know we could, like when we played it last time, we was deploying like the ships and stuff. Welcome to Titan, Founder. I am Anar Peer, oh your council representative. 
There are currently nine council members on Titan. Each of us sponsors and oversees different corporations on this moon. I am your sponsor. Your city permit and council funding are thanks to me. I hope you will return my faith with high profits. And remember, everything the council has given you, don't, you don't find it like taken away. Uh, with every every other game, when you you talk to like a council member, this being f female or male, the females are always high, nasally, pompous kind of uh, characters, and the males always deep, dark eyed, wants everything from you, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Um, entering building. Okay, yeah, we've already been into the building. So let the HQ into the HQ. A headquarters facility. Our little Enter minions. By selecting it in your city. Oh my god! All right, I chat. suggest you build some devices inside of your headquarters. Every new city needs a few essential devices to operate smoothly. Okay. All right. A toy, and you're being what? <laughs> This is, this is, I'm naming a couple of few. Naming a few. <laughs> yeah, literally naming them. Yeah. There you go. All right, name the minions. Founder, this headquarters is the best place to build the devices that will keep your city running. The first devices you need are storage containers to hold so your you, minerals. So with and this, items. you're very limited on space, and build obviously certain things have. It's kind of like in your Tetris. If you need more room, you can also build one inside a factory. Mm -hmm. Yep. Build a storage container. So storage. Hostile We've kind of detected. got one here. Uh, Darius, my dude. Wait, didn't Fox go and raid you? Didn't Fox go and raid you? What's up, Darius? Welcome to the stream, man. Uh, storage container. Minions, build. Build, minions, build. Okay, so we've got a, a storage. Storing, uh, storage hey, waste. Founder, I got us, uh... A temporary solution to our waste problem. There's waste all over the cycle our of life continues. So you can build a waste receptacle in your headquarters to store it. Your employees will automatically pick up the waste and place it into storage. Uh, it's not a long term solution, but it'll have to do for now. But it'll have to do. Besides, if the citizens can't see the waste, it might as well not be there, right? <laughs> right? Uh. Okay. Cool. Build a waste receptacle to store it. Waste. Waste receptacle. Stores waste, freeing up space in storage containers for resources. Does not require energy. Uh, storage capacity plus 15 build time, one second. Resources required minerals. Okay, just two minerals. Okay. Uh, let's put one over in this corner. So now they're going to put the waste in there. So this in here is waste. Is there a way we can see that? So there is. Okay, so we've got three isotopes in there, three minerals, equaling, uh, making, uh, wait, are we, am I seeing stuff? Oh, available six slots. Okay, yeah. And he's just going to kind of bring that in there. Meet the Hi. power. You. I'm Ayana Oak, your power systems engineer. Your power systems engineer. I feel like I'm in the way again, chat. I feel like I'm in the way again. It's my passion, honestly. Since I was a kid, I've wanted nothing more than to slam the contact switch on I'm the I'm coming down here, chat. I'm coming down here. Light up. And after years of school and grad school and VR training programs and. <laughs> Dropping out of VR training programs, I'm finally here. We'll do great stuff together, Founder. <laughs> Trust me. My career is on the line, and you can count on me to take that seriously. Mm hmm. Okay. Or a power engineer. Founder, we will soon run up against the borders of your territory. The city must expand. 
always can expand it. any parcel of land from the council with influence you can spend influence to acquire any plot of land in your city view even if it is not connected to land you already own but choose carefully not all ruins are equally profitable okay select a tile in city view outside of your territory spend influence okay so we can get all these and then we can buy this is our influence right uh, spend influence to claim additional territory. So I can just kind of... So I cl claim 10. So 4. Towel is outside your command area. Build a command center. Okay. So we can claim these ones. So this is our command area. Okay. Understandable now. So this we, we can push out this way. We just need to expand our command area. So this right here is just our vicinity. So we can like... The blue is what we're able to build in. So if I wanted to purchase this, I can go over here and claim this now. And that blue expands. Okay. Hey, founder. Um, I checked inventory and we don't have enough fuel. We need fuel to generate energy for our buildings and devices. We always need fuel. Luckily, there's fuel all around us in the air. It's called Zethane, and it's a finite but easily tapped gas that pours out of crevices and sinkholes. Titan's air is so toxic, it contains many flammable substances we can burn for energy. So, build a fuel fabrication device in your headquarters, or in a factory. These devices don't require any external energy of their own, and they operate without employees. Very convenient. I like the animations, you know. It's pretty sweet. So, you see what I mean by, it? like, it's, it's like Tetris. Obviously, you need a path to go around, but, like, you can rotate stuff around and then kind of, like, move your items and stuff and squeeze things in places. As long as your employees can get to them and they're not barricaded. And if I'm not mistaken, the last time I played this, uh, if something's blocked, it will tell you something's blocked and it won't allow you to place it there. You know. Games like these always have one-dimensional stereotypes for the advisors. And it's, it, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like, you know, the council or that kind of stuff. Uh, toggle your z theme hey, overlay. Founder? You've got to be careful where you put your fuel fabricators if you want to make enough fuel. Zethane is extracted from the air on Titan, so you'll want to build where the concentration is juiciest. Juiciest? If you expand towards crevices and sinkholes and put your fuel fabricators there, you'll be fabricating fuel next to the source. Okay. Not only will it take much longer for crevices and sinkholes to run out of Zethane, but you'll also convert more fuel per minute because the air will be so rich. Oh, and don't forget to spread your fabricators out a bit so they aren't draining just one, one area. area. Get that oh, juicier. Hey founder, if you want to know how much Zethane an area has, there's always the Zethane overlay. You can toggle it at the bottom of your screen in the city view. Cool beans. So you want to build the powers near them. Generating energy. Okay, Founder. It's finally time to turn our fuel into energy. Most buildings and devices need an external source of energy in order to operate. Build an energy generator somewhere on empty floor space, in your headquarters, or in a factory. The generator will convert fuel into energy. So I can build factories. Uh, okay, so I can put like a factory down. And then start building some more stuff in that. So I can make this, for example, a storage building, for example, right? And then we can make one like a power distribution building, all that kind of stuff. Mine, smokes like air purifier, industrial fans, logistics, storage facility. Oh, there's a storage facility there. Roads, transport hubs, power, energy pylons, population, residential office, conversion centers, hospitals, parks, military stuff, and then council, shipyard. That's where we obviously build our ships. Pretty cool. Uh, so build an energy kind of work. Can I put it into here? An energy generator? Energy... I can. Energy generator. So this is a bit of a weird building. Can I just like... Put that there? They still have access. Beep, boop, boop. Beep, 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 boop, beep, boop. You must construct additional pylons. Unit the juice is flowing. Unit confirmed. It's time to send that energy out to the buildings and devices that need it. 
energy doesn't travel on its own. <laughs> I wish. We need relays to carry the energy. Mm -hmm. Let's build some relays now. They'll power everything the grid touches. Okay. Just make sure that all the buildings and devices that need energy are connected to the grid and that the grid has an energy source. Okay. Build an energy relay device so its energy grid is all up to I've got to do that in here as well. Energy... Relays. Here we go. So this is a small, so we can see that's... So that's going to send power to this, and then this is going to distribute power to other things that require power. So I kind of want this in a decent place that's going to cover the most surface area. That's not going to obstruct anything. I'm going to put it there. There's also larger ones we can put down. Obviously, different types of buildings or different upgraded buildings will have different floor space for us to do. successfully constructed an energy system to serve your city. However, your future population also needs to be stored adequately. I suggest you construct habitat pods inside your headquarters. You can set these pods up next to your factory equipment. So you'll score next one, okay. Your citizens won't mind. Guys, remember that's much more Titan if you're interested in the game. You are interested, exclamation mark Titan. If you're watching this on Twitch, if you're on YouTube right now and you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be in the description. Um, go into the link in the description. It's 25% off. It's just hit 1.0. Okay, I like the uh, effects here. Uh, build two habi uh, habitat pods inside your HQ or a factory to provide living space for future season. Okay, let's build a factory here. Let's go back to the, the main area. Let's go to production. Let's put a factory down. Let's build our first factory. And we'll see, and you guys can see the different size that this this room might hold. No, God damn it, Karami! No, I will punch you in the teeth. <laughs> uh, and so you can, you can you can give if you want to be more efficient. You can also delete things uh, for its full value and put it, uh, put it in the Okay. I think I'm gonna stand up here, chat. I stand up. Time to stand. Oh, I kind of like how this is being built. Is there a progress bar? Oh, it does. There is a progress bar. Okie dokie. Cool. Oh. A lot more room. A lot more room in here. Um, so we're going to make this a habitat pod. Build two habitat pods inside your HQR factory to provide living space for future citizens. Supply the habitat pod with energy. Okay. So we're going to put two of these down. Um, have I run out of supplies? I have. Oh. I keep pressing escape. And let's survey these. Are these games hard to learn? No, if you just take your time during, like, your tutorial phase, Corp, uh, or watch any content creator that is well-known to the game, you, you know, probably on YouTube, Twitch or something, watch them, see what they do. It's, it's very much like the games we play, right? We play, we play other factory games and all that kind of stuff. You guys watch me to learn new things, and it'll be the same for this game, you know? Put one in chat if you own or played the game before. One in chat if you played the game before. If you own it or play it. So they're taking all them items to my storage now, right? So if I go into here, I could, I'll be able to see, like, who's this? Elam. Did I not save that? I don't think I saved it. Storage container. So we can see that's not even a full. 
it might be worth for me to put another storage container down. This is a larger one. It's going to take four minerals. We've got 19. Let's put a larger one down. Because why not? Larger storage. Chatting one could dummy down. There's only two, three of yous? No, there can't be. There's going to be more of yous at least. Wait. You spoon. I built a battery. <laughs> I wanted to build a storage container. Uh, how about pods in your HQ and not a factory? Why? Why? Um. Logistic based games come back. Logistic games are the only way to be playing games, technically. Right. Right, okay, right, let's put it let's put it into this building then. I wanted to see what it would look like in here. Uh let's disconnect this. We do have to bring power over here, I guess, as well. So I guess we'll go with the main building. Let's dismantle this. We'll have the factory, or we've got the factory there anyway. <laughs> Raw. What up, DK? They don't like factories. Why? Wait, what? Eh? Uh -huh. That makes no sense. Do you mean they don't like factories? What do you mean? I keep pressing escape. I don't know why that's not a thing. That needs to be a key. Press the escape button whilst in here to go back, and then press escape again to go into the menu. That would have, that's what it should be. <laughs> um, oh, there's a happy set for... Oh, okay, that makes more sense. See, if you would have said that in the first place, Shadow, would have made more bloody sense. Uh, all right, let's put two habitat pods in here then. Uh, that should reach, right? It should reach. I can't put another one there, but I'm going to... Can I move you? That's my waste disposal, isn't it? Um... Let's put waste there. And I'm going to create... At least I've got one, two, three spots here. To utilize. And make this a little walkway here, I guess. Um, and then let's dismantle this. Um, there's no way I can move within a building, right? Is there? Oh, God. I want to break free. Look at them going for it with the hoovers. Oh, boy. Is that waste nearly full? We've we got three available. Oof. Oof. Space station operations. Are you the replacement? Hello. Oh, uh, never mind. You're the new founder, right? I'm Erlen Fletch, your local spaceport operator. But you can call me Fletch. Have you been up here? No? The space station is... Well, it's right above you. Council operation, low-level order. Every few cycles, the council arranges for a new set of trade ships to dock up here. They're carrying cargo and migrants, ready to head down to spaceports all over Titan's surface. You can find the spaceport in your city view. I hope you last longer than the last founder the council sponsored. Seriously, it's rough out here. No. Ha. Ha ha ha. Is 100 influence the max? It is. Okay. Maybe I should get some other locations. Spend some more. What's this? Obsidian ruins. Let's claim that so we can see what it is. Alright, we've got 30. It's going up slowly. So if we're in... Oh yeah, we're getting quite a bit. So let's kind of keep on top of that. Right now. Um, <laughs> they need walking access. Put the entrances to the pods towards the outside to save space. Wait, so you mean get these, flip these around, 
so they can use these out bits there. Is that what you're saying? So instead of using this path here, they'll use this out this outer blue that we can't build on. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Makes sense. Thank you. Good to know. That's pretty good, actually. Where is the entrance? Here. To this building, right here. All right. Uh, unlock migration. All right, Founder. So you probably noticed the spaceport is locked up. See, the council doesn't do things for free. You gotta pay to play around here. Of course. If you want access to those ships in the spaceport, first, you gotta trade a few artifacts. Yeah, I think it's ridiculous too, but don't tell anyone I said that. I uh, need this job pretty bad. Fleeters Open the spaceport like migration panel via the spaceport or... Okay. Activated. Uh, city livability affects the amount of citizens migrating to your city. The higher the city livability, the more popular your city is uh, to off-world migrants. City livability is affected by the number of citizens in your city and their hab uh, habitability. Okay. Influence is 26. Jupiter Khan Strongsman is en route, which is one second away. We're about to see a ship land. Khan Strongsman. Kong Incorporated was the biggest natural gas extraction company before the per rented uh, specialized ship designs. Okay. En route, 45 seconds. Heavy freight. Lunar, insufficient living space. Increased spaceport, storage, plus 20. 1k credits. Exchange influence for the content of migrant ships. Ships may contain citizens, minerals, or isotopes. Oh, okay, so you can't get artifacts from these then. Interesting. Welcome to the spaceport, Founder. Here's where all the big moves happen on Titan. Now that you have access to the spaceport, you can see ships headed toward Titan full of cargo and migrants. Mm -hmm. You can buy what they're carrying with influence. This is your primary way of increasing your city's population. If you're getting migrants, make sure you have somewhere to house them. Otherwise, I can't send them down. Sorry. Yeah. Rules are rules. City employee and, uh, management. Where's my... Surprised if they bring a lot of waste with them, too. You'll just have to deal with it. Why would they bring waste? Were you bringing a bloody Coca-Cola can or something? You message me? You message me? Uh, okay. Na 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 na. Dum 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 dum. Uh, transfer. Bada bing, bada bosh. Sorry, chat. Hold on. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Um. Uh, oh, damn it. Sorry, chap. Sorry. Uh, have you tried... Uh, I haven't. No, no, no. Uh, fuel waste, human waste, so many waste options. I know, we need to kind of uh, learn into recycling that. Uh, okay, we've done that. It appears that you are running out of oh. free space for devices. We've prematurely done this As one. As your city grows, you will always need more floor space. If your headquarters has no more room, you can always build additional factories and we got install one. the devices there. If you are to power your factory with energy generated inside another building, you will want to build this new factory close by. I'm sure your power engineer will explain how to do this later. That is her department, after all. Okay. 
When construction is complete, Twitch Prime sub received. Generous and clever. Like Bravo. <laughs> Chubbs McHuge. Dude, with a prime. Appreciate it. Meet your head of human assets. Greetings, founder. So glad to finally meet you. I'm Lyle Visk, your head of human assets. Everyone here in the human assets office has just been aching to get on a conference call with you. Our philosophy? Eliminate cost centers and build human efficiency. We transform people from a human resource into a monetary resource. Hmm. Monetize my my citizens? Ah, yes. So you've decided to monetize your citizens. Excellent. Excellent. They're going to need jobs. Lots of jobs. When citizens work, they earn credits. We harvest those credits by exposing them to high click-through video advertisements. <laughs> To begin, construct monetization stations inside your head. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm using ads. Once I'm using those ads. Are built, our citizens can start enjoying some fresh, exciting adverts. I'm using ads on my citizens for click-through rate and making sure I get coins. Build a monetization station to generate credits. Uh, are they wanting me to do that in the factory? Or is it a passive thing? What are these? Generate credits during the work phase by hiring idle citizens to watch ads. <laughs> That's funny. So somebody's just going to stand in this booth and watch YouTube ads, right? Basically. Going to watch YouTube ads and get me some money. Cool. Hey there. You ever hooked Hi, up a Doc. building Hello. to an energy grid before? Your generators are producing energy, but they can't get it to the grid unless you build some energy bridges. Ah. Build an energy bridge somewhere inside your headquarters. Then connect your generators to it with an energy relay. Ooh, Once the generators okay. are hooked up to an energy bridge, the grid outside can access the building's energy. You can also use energy bridges to pass energy between different oh, floors factories. of the building. Once it's on <laughs> Maybe the grid, is, yeah. this building can act as an energy source for other buildings in your city. And if you need energy to flow from the city to inside your buildings, it works the same way too. Okay. Build an energy bridge inside your headquarters and it can be connected to the city energy grid. Cool. Oh, I like the rain effect. That's cool. Attention, we are being followed. Shall Brother, I dispatch the uh, punk. drones? What's up, man? Welcome in. Seams. We need to grow. But if we want to grow our corporation, we'll need a real energy grid in this city. Energy works on a city-wide grid, just like it works in our headquarters and factories. To get our city's energy grid online, build an energy pylon that connects your headquarters and factory. Make sure that your factory has an energy bridge too, or else it can't receive power from the outside. Noted. So that's gonna... So you build an energy pylon, build an energy... I have just built an energy bridge in a HQ or a different factory than the previous... Oh, okay. So if I build an energy bridge in here, for example, it will connect... I, I shouldn't really put it there. Depends on what I'm going here. And then that will connect this building up with power. Right, okay. Great. Right. This game's pretty cool. It is. It is. There we go. So this now, so power's coming from this. Yeah, so it's kind of like a, this, creating additional employees. Ah, founder, I've been meaning to talk to you about conversion capsules. It's where Titans Industries transform obedient citizens into even more obedient employees. Okay. We market the procedure as training, but the process is really more technical and the effects are permanent. 
once they've gone through conversion, your employees will be able to work basically forever without breaks or, or sleep. sleep. Now, there may be some long-term consequences that medical science isn't currently aware of, but it is a voluntary process, so your conscience is clear. Okay. Build a conversion capsule to create more employees. Uh, conversion capsule. Do I do that in a building? Conversion capsule. I think I do that in a building. Oh, yeah. Convert citizens into obedient law wage employees who work themselves to the bone. Okay. Um, interesting. I need more uh, minerals. Need more minerals. Salvage. Let's open up some more spots as well. Uh, let's just survey these. <laughs> you love it. It's creating just obedient workers. Uh, um, right, let's open up some spots here. Let's claim some of these because we're going to need them. For some minerals. Did that just give me waste? I think that was just waste. I'll just grab from there. They tend to give a lot. You don't need to claim them to survey. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of expanding anyway. It's fine, isn't it? It's fine. So I can't salvage. It's going to be 24 because it's going to be thing. Yeah, I do want to claim that. I want to salvage it. I'm going to, I'm going to salvage them anyway, you know. Um, let's, I didn't even survey that one. How much storage have I got right now? I sh Oh, the storage boys are underneath. Oh, waste. There is no available... Oh, okay. I need more waste disposal. Otherwise, we're going to have storage problems. Um, Storage. I've only got these small waste... Small waste ones here. I'm just going to put, like, these down here. It seems like we're making a lot of waste. I'm just going to put them on three. Them, them three in there. Uh, I should now be able to build a... Oh, we, we can actually name our buildings, I've just noticed. Yeah, headquarters, you can name it. Cool. Convert citizens to be so... This is a factory, isn't it? I should be really putting them in here, right? Okay, so now I've got that. We've got the generator in the other room. Do I what? No, I don't need a generator in this one, do I? I need this. Is that going to reach? Is that going to reach here? No, it didn't. Okay. Let me change this up then. I could just... I could have just got a larger one. Right? How much is that going to cost me minerals? Six. That's going to cost me two. It's going to cost me a two edition. You know what? Let's do that. Let's get a larger one. Be less room intensive as well, right? Um.
I'm trying to min-max what I'm trying to do right now, you know? You know what I mean? I'm trying to min-max what I'm trying to do. I'll just wait there. I put the bridge by the relay too. I uh, could do that, couldn't I? I might just move I could just move it down here. Why is he not getting power? Does it need to cover the whole thing? I need more power generation? Oh, okay. We need more generators, doesn't I? More generators. I don't have any other room in the other factory, so I'm going to have to put it in this one. Yeah, I don't have any room in here. I'll put it in this one. Beep, 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 beep. Um, so it does not require energy. Bah, 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 bah. I do want... So it's going to cost one fuel, which means if we was to put this in here, we're not going to... That would be the last of the fuel, right? If I'm not mistaken. Because we only got one extra fuel left. We got one fuel. Uh Yeah, so we're still down on power. Still a minus one. Yeah, we're still a minus one down here. Maybe I should have got a second. Do you reckon I should have got a second one? Ah, using tier one resources for this device will result in insufficient output per cost. It is recommended to construct this device with higher tier resources. I'm going to put another one down, aren't I? Will that be efficient, though? Will that work, though? That would work there, wouldn't it? That would work there. Because they can get around the outside. And then after this, we should be burning... We should have two fuel left, but then gain two... We should have two additional power. Actually, how much is this going to consume? Oh, there we go. We're up now. We're back. Making power. Back making power. Cool. All right, founder. Now that you've built your conversion capsule, you're ready to convert citizens into employees. Employees. Start by selecting one of your conversion capsules. This is where you'll pay for new employees. Give it a try now. Your citizens are very eager to sign up for conversion. Are they? Are they? Is he going to come out like a robot? Or He's going to come out like one of these, isn't he? Oh, my God. <laughs> Look how they're walking over the waist. Like, Founder, I was wondering when you'd Welcome back, Eisenberg. Welcome back, man. 
I'm Alexa Carrick, your military advisor. Around here, they call me the Admiral. The Admiral. I manage your ships, armaments, and military personnel. Plain language, that means I make sure that rebels and our competitors don't kill us. I've worked with a lot of startup cities here on Titan, so don't worry. I've seen it all. Landfaller cities come and go like the rain. For now, keep your eyes open and your mind sharp. If we want to survive on this poisonous rock, we'll have to work hard. Mm-hmm. All right. Founder, your raw resources could be doing so much more for you. Each resource is crude at first, but the refinement process makes them that much more effective at construction. Mm -hmm. With each refinement, the resource gains value and thus represents a greater portion of the construction costs. This is how you get the most out of your resources. Raw resources will only get you so far. Mm -hmm. To start the refinement process, build a level one processor and be sure to plan some empty space around it. Why? Why? Generates one whip. That's why. That's why. So this needs space around it, does it? So we're going to go down to one power here. Oh my god. So this is going to randomly make waste, right? Oh, it needs space because it... Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on a minute. That's why it needs space. Because we need to add modules to it. Accepts minerals for refining through the processor. Uh, that's why it needs space. I should really put this over in the corner. Founder, you now have a processor for refinement, yes. but it will not function without the required modules. Mm -hmm. First, you need an input module associated with the resource you wish to refine. Okay. Then, you'll need an employee module and an employee free to operate it. Once you have that, an output module will be necessary to receive the refined resource. Uh -huh. And finally, you have the option to attach a waste module to catch any waste, instead of letting it litter your factory floor. Each step requires different amounts of time to complete, but I'm quite confident you can work that out for yourself. I will try. I feel like I put that in a bad spot now. You need space on all sides. Three by two? Huh. Okay. I think what the best thing to do would be to put that as a little highlight thing around the bottom of it. Right? Would make sense. Should be fine here. Right? That would be good. I, uh, I'll put it back here. Or I'm going to put it directly in the middle of the room. No. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I might just put it directly in the middle of the room. It's going to get power here. We'll try it here. It's science. We've got to try things once before we can officially make things efficient and see how they function. All right. Attach an input module to the processor. They are hu Jesus. Okay, so that's a little bit more room than I thought it would be. So I need to put an input, and I need to put an output, and then I need to put an employee module on there. 
And the employee module can go on a side. And they also, the employee needs to have access. So we need to put three attachments. Have a processor with all the required modules. Okay, so let's move the, let's, let's put the employee one. Let's put that there. Let's remove this. Science. Science? And then put the processor here. And then put the input module here. And then the output module here. Is that right? Will that work? That should work, right? Should work. Andrew. Oh, yeah, I need to do the work. Maybe I'll, I'll push it back. I wish I could just grab highlight this and just push it back. You know? I wish I could just grab it, move it within here instead of dismantling it all, building it back at all again. We out, especially for first time players, it will make more sense. Because then you got to dismantle, build it back again. Dismantle, build it back again. I think it'd be ideal just to allow just to to build it back up. I know, I know the item shows it here, like the the, the blocks and uh, the the space and the size uh, and stuff. But like, it'd probably be the better idea because that's obviously going to go to there, right? So I'm putting that there, and then I'm going to put this there. This, the, then I'm putting the input on that side, output on that side, right? So that should work. We just need to get a relay to put down right now. Because that's obviously got power. Oh god, you need to put multiple relays? Oh my god, it's because of the... Because of the size of it, right? Oh boy. So, if the relays are three... If the relays are three, the ideal position would be to put this on the waste disposal side. To make sure one of these gets full all the time. So... If I was to dismantle this real quick. Get the items back. You gotta wait for them to go to storage. And now it's back in storage. I can put that here, right? Put that there. So that should now power. Oh, wait. It is, it's just touching them, so it will power them, right? And then I'm going to, have to put a small relay over here. To get them powered. That's that connected up. Uh, we're good. Okay. Do, do, do. do you mean you can't see my gas? Oh, gas is only two. Gas is two right now. Ugh. The gas is two. Okay. Now we're all good. We're all set up. Now we're all set up. Okay. Have a processor with all with all required modules attached. I'm thinking. Wait, what? So it is enabled. Wait, why are you yeah, isotope input? Mod Wait, why are you not powered? Oh, because I'm out of power. Uh, Spoon. I need some more modules. I need more modules. Need more modules. There's so much user interface, like it's hard to put a camera anywhere. You know? Right, so they're salvaging. So 
I need to expand my power infrastructure here. Let's keep buying and building it on, off and on here. Until you make like a square kind of thing around. You know? Makes sense. Give me power! Okay, cool. Attention, we are being followed. Shoot so J4 runner, welcome in, man. Drones. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Founder, now that you're refining your resources, you can soon invest in a more diverse portfolio of buildings. Mm -hmm. Larger devices and buildings require more construction units. Okay. Paying for these with raw minerals is foolish, not to mention inefficient. Without your input, we can choose which resource will be most optimal for the building. But you can cycle through which resource tier to use for construction by clicking the mineral or isotope box at the top of your surveillance view. Higher tiers account for more construction units. Use them wisely. Use them wisely. Build something with tier 2 or tier 3 resources. Cool. I'm out of waste already. My waste is full. Yeah. Games need streamer mode. Yeah, I'm like bouncing my camera around everywhere. Like, obviously, games aren't developed for things, but something has to be hidden, you know. Just build all the things <laughs> and ask questions later. Cheru. Um, we have a problem with waste. That's the problem we have with right now. Wait. We have a problem with waste. Okay, cool. Hmm. All right, what do I need to build with this tier two? I totally missed it. I was distracted. Because we've got these now, aren't we? This is outputting. Processing to tier 1 to tier 2. Outputs reconstruction. Yeah. Always oh, there's, uh, there's waste. Waste, waste, and waste. Because even that's full. That storage is already full. Please tell me there is a way we can recycle waste or something. We can turn it into fuel. Smokestacks. Burns through waste quickly. Releasing gases that may harm unprotected citizens. Generates pollution. Okay, can I have that, please? And then air purify the pollution. And then turn that into... As well as thin. Okay. Can I have a smokestack, please? <laughs> can I have a smokestack? I usually build an outdoor storage area for it. And then more buildings for it. That's what I'm, it looks like. I'm, it might come down to where I might just need one dedicated building right now just to waste, right? That's what it looks like we need. Hello, Juicy. Turn the camera into bouncing DVD style so it's constantly moving about so then you can see everything. <laughs> Either that or I just bring the camera down and put it into a small little area, you know? Um. Okay, so what do where, how do I know what I'm building with, with uh, tier one and tier two stuff? It's the stronger generator stuff, isn't it? These stuff, right? Converts a medium amount of fuel into energy thing, energy relays, and then buildings. Fuel cost is minus two. Warning, using tier one resources for this device uh, will result in efficient output per cost. Headquarters. We don't have any tier two. But isn't this building making tier two? This building? Isn't this making tier two? I thought it was. We're just getting more waste. These these wastes are already near the full. 
I'm gonna build another factory for waste. Waste only. Wait. Waste only. That's 16% now. A rebel threat. Do 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 Why are you so wasteful? Why are you so complainy? Jesus time. Jesus. By the way, for those that are just joining us, the second album for the DMCA free music that I've uh, co-produced with Low Wave Records has been officially completed. I have the full album. Uh, we did a bit of a tease earlier on of one of the songs. Uh, we're going to see some more teases tomorrow and stuff of my album. Um, right. Waste. Waste, waste, and more waste. How much are you... Two out of two. Waste. I'm literally going to make aisles of waste. I'm surprised it's not a larger one, but whilst that's being built, chat, I'm going to go to the toilet, BRB. Okie dokie chat. Fix it, this one's plates. Plant, well, this one's plant. Mm -hmm. Alright. Counter, now that you understand resource refinement, you can continue further processing to achieve the highest possible quality resource. Do just as you did with your basic resources, but this time with level 2 processing. Remember, you can do this for both minerals and isotopes, depending on what input modules you attach. So we got a bit of level 2 one now? Appreciate it, Kazan. Found your video satisfactory vids. Totally inspired my latest restart. Hell yeah. Glad you like the YouTube content, man. Glad you like it. Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. Mm 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 hmm. No. Need power. Some not like of it. <laughs> yeah. Like my ch my channel was very very heavily focused on like one specific genre. Recently we've been exploring everything. Like my YouTube now is just pure variety. Some people might not like a vid. Some people might like it. All that kind of stuff, you know. Diversify the content. Oh, 100%. 100%. allows me to game to game as well and not keep playing a specific genre of game and burn myself out doing it. So this is Factory 3. We can name these. So I'm just going to call this... Can I, I'm going to rename this. 
Waste. Wait. Waste. One. <laughs> Wait. Wait! No! I want to make this waste. Waste one. Because we're going to need more. Aren't we? Name of HQ Central? Or Prim Melon? Wait, what do you mean? Evil? More. I was going to swear at you, but I'm doing a sponsor right now, so I'll swear with you later on. You spoon. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. I literally clicked on this building. <laughs> and because of the amount of reverb that could happen in this building, I thought an employee might have farted. You know. <laughs> Got acoustics in this building. <laughs> Is that just a prime rally? I should be... What, what should we call this? Should we call it? Um... Melon HQ. What's in this one? Tier 1 processing, right? I call it tier 1. Or is it tier, tier 2? Uh, no, I'll just call it processing 1. Mm 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 <laughs> Resubscription received. Thank you for renewing your class two access. Okay. Cool. All right, so in here, we're going to do processing two, right? But we need more minerals. So let's survey these before we buy which ones we want. And... Unit constructed. Oh, you're going to give me waste. Of course you are. Wait, can they go over there? Even though that's... Oh, you could use your drones. Okay. Cool. Now get... <laughs> Jesus. Your auto sub was gone? Wow. Look at them all taking all that waste. Grab, stop. Bringing all the waste to you. All right, we've got nine. Wait, where's our... Oh, it's in the HQ, isn't it? It's in the HQ. Storage here. Yeah, okay. So, we need 50 minerals?
Bees! All aboard the hype waste train. <laughs> hype waste train? Thanks, please. Appreciate it. That's the first time that's happened, Evil. I'm not going to lie to you. That's the first time that's happened. And that scared the poop out of me. When you when it's a sound that you don't normally have and it's just out of the blue, yeah. When a sound's constantly played over and over and over and over and over and over again, you kind of get used to it, but... Oh, we can make the uh, processing plant too. So we've got... I'm going to put this in the middle because this is a big boy, right? This is a big boy, which means we can put more on it. This room's going to need power as well. So we are going to need to put down a um, energy bridge and a relay. What, what? A quick line, you spoon. What up, Nugly? How you doing, man? Good to see you. We're currently playing Industries of Titan. Sponsored by the lovely developers. Which is now in full release 1.0 exclamation mark titan or check the link at top of chat in the little drop down box if you're interested in picking this up it's a city builder strategy and sim sim builder the one thing that's unique about this game compared to other city builders is like you have you can go into the interior which i kind of like and then going in here this is where like most of your resources is and you're mostly your building but like it's, it's like a mini game as well because you have to kind of squeeze everything in here but also make routes for your employees but then also make your employees work all the time you yeah. know i've had it since update two in early access I, I i've had it since release of early access i've i've just like i'm gonna be honest i've not put a lot of hours into it i had other commitments and stuff so uh right so we want to put a relay in so you're more than welcome to backseat and ask me to do stuff and all that kind of stuff you know um, placing the energy bridge. And then we need to put down a thingy, don't we? Um, build my beauties. Build. Um, yeah, you can rotate the modules. I can ro rotate the process. I can rotate the modules. Come down here and grab these. You can rotate these to however you ever want. Like, as long as that little plug socket is connected to the processor in the middle, you're fine. You know? We are going to need some power here. Because we did, we have run out of power. I think I need to do a power generation building. I need to do like a power plant building. You know. That's what I need to do. I didn't even see them 100 biddies come in. I think it's because it was a bloop bloop. Bloop bloop bloop. Um, mineral. Do I need to put two inputs on? I can just choose one, right? I can just make this a mineral isotope. Right? Uh, min mineral isotope? Mineral. Obviously, it needs an employee module. And then it's going to need a waste. Wait, so let's, let's cancel this one. 
What is this music? I kind of like it. And then this, this is my waist, right? Oh, it's waist, right? Off topic. Am I crazy, or did you have somehow as an for the rest of summer? I did, and then I removed it because I wanted to make better content from it. So eventually, I'll be doing some Horizon, yes, on the YouTubes. Oh, I like this music. It reminds me... I can't remember what game it was. Uh, we, need to, we need to do a... We need to do a... What's it called? You was looking for it? Yeah, if you, if you would have asked in like Discord or something, I would have told you. Uh, let's do a power production building chat. I, think, I feel like that could be useful to us, right? It's kind of important. We need power. Wait. Oh yeah, you're running to the... Okay, production... Factory. Let's go with power. I like how the little minions are running, you know. Yeah, def yeah, that was it. Yeah, kind of gives me them vibes. Do do do. To get role players, so we're moving stuff around without road space. Yeah, it, it probably will. Like, 100%. Like, road space. That's why I'm thinking. That's why I didn't put all this over here. Like, we can bring a road down here, you know. You know, kind of a thing. But at the end of the day, it's all about science, right? Nobody knows the path that you'll be taking or what's going to take up what until you science it. Hence the reason we do a lot of science on this channel. I feel like I'm going into like a Mass Effect nice nightclub. Okay. Yeah, I said that earlier, cousin. I, I said that earlier. Right, so... We need more fuel. You will. So you're going to give me... How much fuel is this going to give me? 13. That's going to give me plus 3. Plus 1, 3, plus 3. Vibes, man. Vibes. The Adams family. Da -da -da -dun -da -dun -da -dun -dun. Man vibes. Wait, man vibes? What's that, man? Something I don't know about. Am, am I missing something? Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, 
Uh, we're gonna definitely gonna reclaim that one and salvage that one. Okay. I like how the the waste is basically poop, like a little poop emoji, you know. I guess that's exclusive. <laughs> God damn it, Smith! It's confusing me. Oh my god, what the storage storage is full. The storage is full. Of course. Already. Wait, why did the music stop? Da -da -da -dum. We definitely need this. <laughs> like, wait, we can create f second floor. Wait, 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 wait. Can I put a factory on top of another factory? No? Can I upgrade? Upgrades improve the building's functionality. One, upgrades disable the buildings until upgrade is complete. Build time. Tiles, 200. Oh! Science? Oh. Oh. Wait, does the HQ upgrade as well? Oh! Hey, do Okay. Let's upgrade. So it's, all of them are disabled right now because obviously I'm upgrading. But de -de 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 -de. upgrade exploded. <laughs> upgrade exploded. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, does this have multiple floors now? It does. Ooh. So, that means you can do second floor. Second floor. Men's wear. Oh. Second floor, men's wear. There we go. And then it's going to be the same for this, right? Oh, whoa, 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 wait, I saw something. Burrow. Burying your city protects it from attacks and smothers fires by temporarily hiding buildings underground. It takes some time to recharge, so use it wisely. Connected buildings, HQ, command centers, defensive turrets, and activated ruins cannot burrow. Ooh. Yeah, so that's during the attacks. We saw that in the trailer earlier when I showed you the trailer. So you can kind of like... Turtle it. Go into turtle mode. Suck it back in. Right? Into the ground. Hide it away for the defenses. Is that... Wait. What storage is... Yeah, storage is full. It's fine. Dismantle this, and we'll put it into the, uh... Oh, Jesus! Oh, God. Uh... Take it to the other building. Take the waste to the other building. Uh, when you dismantle waste box... Why did that sound so real? <laughs> Clean up an aisle 50. <laughs> Evil. The 800 biddies, dude. Thank you so much for the biddies, man. Random ass burp. So they're just going to pick all this now and take it up into the other building, aren't they? Into the good old... Oh, boy. I think we're going to need more.
We need more waste. Random timing, I know. Yeah, all the, all the sound effects are all basically every 50 minutes from, I think it's 100 onwards. 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 404, 450, 500, 550. Yeah, so. I think there's only four or four that's different. That turns my power off. All oh, my lights. Lights shut down. Device complete. Device complete. Oh, that's disabled, isn't it? Oh, this is my tier two plant, isn't it? All right. Create tier three processes. So that's what we're currently working on now. We've got four fuel. Um, this is going to be my power, right? I can't. I can't type today. I can't type today. Oh, one. Well. Buildings you can get later that will massively help you. Yeah, yeah, I've seen them in the uh, in the build tab at the bottom. Um, okay, so I wanted to build. Uh, what was it I needed? I needed mineral CPUs. Did I just spend everything I just unlocked on the on? I did, right? I did. I did. Twenty five salvage from that. These are gonna give me isotopes. Um. Uh, Okay, so we should be getting around, what, 50? The necessary industry? Indeed. 100%. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Come on. Wait, maybe I need to bring in some more people. City employee management. Current employees, nine. Employee limit, 17. Uh, citizen. Current citizens, three. Current living spaces, four. Click to view citizen information. Wait, does that mean I can... I can convert one of them, right? Get another employee. This needs an awesome sink. Grind up all the waste and the surplus, right? Sink it. Process it. Wait, they have a work schedule? 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. They're working. Right now, they're currently doing leisure. From 4 p... Who does leisure from 4 p.m. to 2 a.m.? And then sleep at 2 a.m. to 8 a.m.? Jesus. Jesus. Twitch Prime sub received. Crown. Generous and clever. Bravo. Ten times. Ten months. Sorry. Ten bloody months for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Most gamers. I'm not going to lie. I did see the 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. And I was like, okay, that sounds like me. But it's not leisure. Would you class what I do as leisure, but also working at the same time? I guess you guys sometimes don't understand how much work I do for content. Right? Especially off, off live streams. Off live streams. Live streams, the easiest form of content to do. Out of that, different. Different story. Na 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 na. Puppy power. I swear, it, streamers. The streamers, streamers basically play games and just talk to you guys, right? But YouTube wise, oh, that's a, that's a different ball game. That's a different ball game. Because this month we've just released, this is our, we've just completed our first daily month of content. First daily month of content. Oh, it's the was it the power building I needed to? It was wasn't it? Uh. I'll put it there for now. I can change it later. Da, 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 da. Where are you, minions? Get to work. 
get to work. We got three vacant. Okay. Occupied one. Basement migrations. Total citizens one. Total living spaces four. Vacant three. Total jobs one. Occupied one. Still in leisure status right now. Okay. So this is back up to building now. So we've got two power. Which we still need more power. Um, Due to... Uh, bring this off. We do need more power just because of... Can I squeeze you in there? Yeah, I thought not. I can squeeze you there, though. And you fit nicely and snug together. Then you have the reaction videos. Easiest content in the world to create if you can call it content. Uh, it's true. As long as you contact the creator of the original videos and it's good. Uh, it is. It is. It is. Like you can't, you can't, you can't. If anyone says that, that that's hard. They're lying through the teeth. You know, editing for YouTube. Yeah, I love editing for my videos. You know, so that as you know, I've done reaction videos. What five, maybe six, six, five, five six in total, something like that. But always ask the creator before you do them. You'll be surprised by how many people don't, but then also the comments people as going, I oh, just stole this content. No, I didn't steal. If you ask, it's different. And it should be based around what you do, right? I, I do satisfactory, right? Um, I, 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 I've done a lot of it, so, uh, sorry. Uh, and hence the reason I did satisfactory reaction content. Um... So we've got 8 plus power now, which means we should be able to expand this and get this up and powered, which it is. What's this connection? No connected output module. Oh, I didn't do an output module. Need to do an output module. Are you rolling? Yeah. But I won't do any other reactions of like his channel because I I don't do them games. You know, makes no sense. Terraform. So someone explain to me how these work right here, right? Because no minerals too. Obviously I need to put an employee on this, right? But why is my processing plant um, Mark 1 not making items? No isotopes. But we have isotopes, right? Wait a minute. This is why. I know why. I think. That one needs to be there, right? So then minerals go in here to then output Mark II minerals, right? Right? This should now work? Yes. It looks like it's working. And then that second one goes over to isotope Mark II to make the three ones. Yes. There we go. Okay. There we go. Done it now. Yeah, it's because it's because on the other one I did isotopes. On this one I've done uh, minerals. So you need to do for the isotope ones. You need to do an isotope one and two, and then on this one you need to do a mineral one and two. Yes. 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 Okay, that makes sense. It makes sense. Makes makes sense. Um. Okay. 
next mission, I guess. Bounder, it looks like a couple rebel birds picked us up on radar. They've altered course toward us. Ooh. Rebels don't only fight against the council. They'll attack anyone who works with the council, too. Of course. They'll be here soon, but we have time to prepare defenses. If you haven't already done so, save up the required resources to unlock the defense turret. A defense turret can defend the settlement against low orbit military vessels. Build one now to keep the rebels busy. Ooh. And don't forget, we'll need an employee to operate the turret in order for it to function. An employee semi finals. Okay. Any my minus 24? Minus 24 energy? I don't have that much energy to... Sure. Jesus. I guess we need to look into more power, more fuel. Jeez. Guys. I'm gonna need more, more fuel. More, 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 more fuel. Thanks, Dalston. Thanks. Thanks. Get more power. Um, I'm on it. I'm on it. Slowly. to realize like these can go into their own building right having a fuel plant and then having a the generator plant it were the best thing right because if i was to remove these i can easily put this down here get another two in there and get another one down this corner this game good i'm kind of enjoying it sphinx yeah kind of enjoying it you definitely have to do the tutorial to play the game to learn it and stuff like that but it's kind of well explained it gives you what you need to do it gives you a uh, thing and it's responsive as well like there's some games where you do the tutorial when it's this kind of complexity and like and it doesn't tell you specifically what to do it kind of gives you a general direction but then you kind of have to and it kind of deters people this one's pretty decent you want to spread out the fuel yeah because of the 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 gas right the air stuff right this stuff Right, but we want to we want to build it closer to these. Right, this is where we want to we want to bring the power to the the sinkholes and the cracks and the crevices. Right, the the, the butt cracks. <laughs> so we want to build them closer to that. Um, that's what we really want to do. Otherwise, if we put too much in this location, it's not going to you know give us enough fuel. Uh, but how much did we need for the gun turret? Was it twenty eight? Wait, how close? Wait, can we? Let me go back to normal grid. Territory grid. I could maybe build a factory over here next to this, right? And then we'll do this as the... As the... Uh... I want to claim that one because I'm being picky. Um, yeah. Place dedicated collectors next to those. You want to, uh, you want to exhaust it where people live to... Wait, I want to do what? 
What do I want to do? Yeah, fuel, yeah, yeah. The fuel turbines in here. This is what I was going to do. And then I can remove the fuel turbines in the other one, right? And then make this like a dedicated fuel building. Fuel turbine building, right? Do these take time to... Do these deplete over time? 69.14 pollution, 4.55. Is thing generated? 150%. What about over here? Oh. Yeah, not good, is it? Not good. I need to loot... Yeah, that's where I need the... What's it called, right? The uh, cleansing thing. Uh, what is it? Air purifier, right? Because we need this. Wait, wait, where is my credits? It's there. 698. So for me to get credits, I need people to watch ads. Yeah, literally ads for those that are joining us. Ads. YouTube and Twitch ads. And I don't mean you guys. If you want to watch YouTube and Twitch ads, go, go ahead, you know. Um, but yeah. Um... Because these are gonna, these are gonna, pull, uh, the fuel generators are gonna bring pollution in, right? The pollution, and I need to unlock this, the air purifier. And the air purifier is a building that we put down here, very much similar to the energy pylon kind of thing. So that means we need to put an energy pylon over here, you know, to power this. Right. Can't tell if... Yeah, that one needs to be there. Uh, That's just out the radius. I'm going to have to put that there, aren't I? But I can't. Oh, it's going to have to go there. I'm going to put that there. Oh, I can upgrade the pylons too. Wait, can I? Okay. But yeah, I need to be closer, don't I? Uh, power energy pylon. That's what I'm Doop. Doop a doop. Doop a doop a doop. Power. More power. Okay, and we'll add two squares in every direction at T3. That's not bad. That's pretty good. So it'll go like one, two. So it'll go up to, the, up to this spot. And then to here thing. That's pretty good. Cool. Cool, so you've got power. Let's jump in here. Boop 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 boop. Um, I'm going to need a bridge. And then we're going to need you guys, right? I'm going to go with that for now. We can see the fuel kind of going up and down here, that's because that other, my other fuel generator stuff is fluctuating because it's taking up the, the Xeno power, right? That's why it's going up and down, because it went to zero a minute ago then went to one. But we're going to get a lot of fuel right... Woohoo! Look at all that fuel! 29! 30! 29! 30! 29! 30! we're right next to the vent. Look, oh my god, they're speeding. <laughs> Speed! Speed! But now, I can go down to the power building. Go inside here. Dismantle this. Dismantle this. Dismantle this. 
No, 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 don't, 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 We should have enough for the turret now as well. So the turrets can't be submerged under the ground. Wait, if I build over this, are they going to remove them? Okay, they're going to remove them. Wait, are they? Okay, he's still going to grab it. It's fine. Just passively grabs it. I'd keep the fuel fabs active in the base too, just to reduce residuals, I think. Just slowly remove it, you think? Okay, that makes sense, to be honest. You want to, we want to remove it from here, right? Remove it from here, but then obviously later on down the line, clean up the pollution. Um. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Whoa. When did I get that much? Holy. Jeez. Jace. All right, get to work. Storage. Give me storage. Well, oh, waste. Oh, she's going to keep saying that now, isn't she? Okay, she's not going to say... Oh, she's going to say outside. Let's claim the obsidian rules here. I'm sorry, them. Oh my god, stop saying that. This is reminding me of Command and Conquer, and it's like, unit constructed. Unit constructed. Unit constructed. Unit constructed. Unit ready. <laughs> unit ready. <laughs> unit ready. Um. Right, so that's the way sorted out. We do have a couple of artifacts. 780 credits. We could do with more. I might even pull in some more people. Uh, processing plant is up. We are making that. Plant is up. Okay, cool. What did this survey get me for this? 11. Oh, two and three isotopes. Two and three and nine waste. Three minutes to extract that. Cool. So we're making power. Let's get the defense turret down. Um, I'm going to put that there. I don't know where the best place to put it. it. Like For me, it would be on the outskirts. But I don't know the direction that my turrets, the enemy's going to come from. They could come from over here. And if I put my turret over here, they're going to keep playing out these. I'd rather put it in the middle for now until I get at least four to cover each corner or something. Two and three conversion module. I think you remove uh, you remove the output and move the input and employee station more towards the edge. And the output was on. You might be able to get space for another input. Possibly, yeah. Just playing around with space, right? Like I said, it's Tetris. My absolute favorite game seems to right, especially uh, the music. Music makes games, for sure. Okay, so we're getting the turret built right now, which is going to... Well, 20 seconds left. Usually three enemy bases could come from any of the three or later in the game. Okay. So, yeah, it's good, it's good just to kind of have a central cannon right now and then kind of expand. And cover, cover the bases, you know. Oh. Nice. Oh. Oh, set target. Okay. We've got to assign an employee in there. Okay, cool. So, founder, 
You probably noticed that our waste problem is getting pretty serious. Well, no need to fear. Waste management is here. Thank God. Et cetera, et cetera. Our citizens and our factories are all producing waste. Tell me about it. You could let the trash pile up, but it's better to get rid of it. <laughs> citizens prefer it when our buildings are clean. The council likes it when we keep it tidy, too. Mm -hmm. The easiest way to disappear is a smokestack. Is to build a Let's just make stack. smog. You can find it in the city construction menu in the city. Mm -hmm. Let's just make smog, right? So now we can um, make a smokestack, right? Requires 1k credits. We don't have enough. We do need to get some more ad space going. It is going to generate pollution, which will obviously my citizens won't like. But then we've got to aim for an air purifier to clean up that pollution to help that. Mines will be efficient to obviously pull in these, right? The minerals patch and the isotopes patch. Ultra rich minerals. Only 72 minerals. 73, 53. Okay. Can you recommend this game? I do kind of recommend it. Yeah, Panda. Like, I would get it now while it's on sale as well, you know? Exclamation mark Titan. Look at that turret, just beastie. I definitely need to sink more time into this. I definitely need to sink more time into this. Um, and then when you understand the, the, the basics, everything kind of starts being self-explanatory to you. And knowing where to get the power from, like your fuel and spacing for your, uh, your processes and all that kind of stuff and then working out your your uh, employees and stuff you know so advanced balloons <laughs> um but chat i need to actually finish because i've just seen the time i actually need to finish so if you want me to see more of this let me know